I like tight shirts for when I run. Hello guys, Naked Banana here. I'm actually getting ready to do my little cardio workout, which I'm, I love, I love cardio. I, makes me feel really good. I, when I don't do my cardio um, a few times a week, I feel off. And when I get it in, when I'm having fun, when I'm getting sweaty, I love getting sweaty and just getting that post-workout high, post-cardio high. It just feels so much better. So I suggest you guys get your cardio in. Okay, now it's time to put my shorts on. So I accidentally purchased, whoops. Ooh, I accidentally purchased socks. I accidentally purchased shorts that were mediums instead of small, so they're falling off of me falling off of me so I have to roll them up and they look ridiculous I'm gonna show you guys I look like a five-year-old that can't dress properly but I already bought them I'm not gonna waste them I'm not gonna throw them away I'm gonna make the best of it and hope that they stay on my booty while I'm trying to run on the treadmill so see how they're rolled up they're rolled up like multiple times and yes I am I'm really white I know I when I was younger I used to be a fan of the self tanners now I'm like so over them I just embrace my pasty skin and my freckles like why bother with that orange stuff it smells weird it makes you look weird and I don't know it's just not my thing anymore probably because I used to use so much of it, it just grosses me out now just like the, ooh, don't fall just the thought of putting that stuff on my skin grosses me out um, but first of all I want to say I know that I get about I'm gonna say about 50 messages a day, 50 emails a day from guys, um, emails or Instagram or Facebook, not Facebook, I don't have Facebook, uh, what's the other one? YouTube, yes, this one. And a lot of men are writing me, wanting to do paragraphs, which honestly makes me feel really special, it makes me feel like you guys care, that you're here to support me, and not only that, but that I'm also making videos that are somewhat useful to you, which is why I wanna do this. But some men have gone back to me and tell me they're upset because I respond with one to two sentences. And the truth is that I'm very busy. I work probably from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. And then I have school on top of that. And then I tutor children. And my schedule is very, very busy. So if I actually responded to you with one to two sentences, you're probably one of the lucky ones because the majority of the time, I don't have time to respond to everybody. I wish I had more time, but... Um, that's just not the world we live in right now. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see. But for whatever reason, around this time of year, around winter time, I always get a lot of guys messaging me, telling me that they went to their doctor, they went to their laboratory, as I suggested, and they came back with ex excessively low testosterone. And I've also suggested if you have low testosterone and your doctor doesn't automatically order the vitamin D levels, make sure that you do that. Now, just because I have a medical laboratory science background doesn't mean that I'm a doctor. So this is my disclaimer. I'm just giving you my hints, my tips, my tricks. Doesn't mean that you should do what I'm telling you to do. At the end of the day, it's your health in your hands and you should be doing your own research as well. I always tell people to do their own research because we're all very, very different. So it is best to find a doctor who knows your numbers of your testosterone, your vitamin D, and your B12 as well, which is also correlated to testosterone levels, so that he can know how to treat you. Because if you are severely, severely low, you may need to take testosterone. I don't know, I'm not a doctor. So do what's best for you. Go to the doctor. Now, what I'm about to give you here, if you already have those testosterone numbers and that uh, vitamin D level, and you've already started supplementing with vitamin D, because let's face it, a lot of us are low, especially here in the Midwest, because it's snowing in Chicago. And if you live a lifestyle like me, where I'm at work from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m., then you don't really have time to see the daylight. By the time I'm home, it's pitch black already. So. The majority of people that work in the Midwest, we're just not getting enough sunlight. So although I'm not a fan of supplements, there are some times where you have to supplement so that you bring those numbers up to what they need to be and then you can kind of just level a little bit off and maybe you might not need them within a few months or so of supplementing. But a lot of men have also told me, Nika, I have no idea why my testosterone is so low, why my vitamin D is so low. 
if I have been strength training. I've been strength training all my life. I'm super strong. Why are my numbers so low? It's affecting my relationship with my girlfriend. I can't give her the fun she wants. I'm exhausted all the time. I just can't get in the mood. What the heck is wrong with me if my numbers are still this low? And if there's anything else that I can do to bring my testosterone levels up without having to necessarily inject testosterone. Now, just because you strength train and just because you're really strong doesn't mean that you can't have low testosterone numbers. And I know that a lot of people say to strength train to boost your testosterone. I seriously have no idea where the hell that myth originated because that's all it is. It's a myth. I mean, I tried to do some research today while I was in the laboratory for you guys and Nowhere did I find a study that correlated strength training to boosting testosterone levels. Nowhere at all. Also, if you're a guy and you're on YouTube scrolling through videos such as these and you see an ad or something that is telling you to purchase this supplement to increase testosterone within, you know, 400% within a week or something, don't fall for that stuff. Don't do it because men have told me that they've bought some of these supplements and the ads that they see before my videos and I don't get to pick what shows and it did nothing for them. That's not me telling you to go buy this supplement. It's the algorithm of YouTube picks up whatever I'm talking about, in this case, testosterone, and will put in ads to kind of fill in whatever, right? To bring in some revenue for YouTube. But that doesn't mean I chose that ad there. And it doesn't mean I'm telling you to go buy it because at the end of the day, most supplements have no science backing whatsoever that they can actually increase your testosterone. So really, you're probably just gonna waste your time um, and your money trying to increase testosterone through some funny supplements sold through YouTube links. Just don't do it. Go to the doctor. He will give you what you need if you need something. That being said, if you have a really high body fat percentage as a guy, that's very correlated to having low testosterone. And the name for low testosterone is actually a TD or testosterone deficiency. So if you do suffer from testosterone deficiency, go to ncbi.gov where you can pull up all these studies and the majority of studies show that if you have low testosterone and you have high body fat, the sooner you bring that fat down, the sooner your testosterone is going to increase. And the study I pulled up, I can link in the description if you guys wanna read it or if you're interested, let me know, I'll link it. But doing cardio is actually been shown to increase testosterone. So doing uh, cycling is what they did on the study. So cycling seems to be better than any type of other exercise instead of strength training. Now, that's not me saying, why are you strength training? You're just wasting your time because strength training does have a lot of other benefits. I mean, you look good, you are stronger, you, the more mass you have, the higher your metabolic rate is, which can also aid in dropping your fat down but at the end of the day cardio especially cycling is like so freaking good at burning calories at burning fat and making you lean as shit so this is why i'm always talking about this here guys the vegan diet fucking four bananas i'm about to have before my um cardio session here it's about 400 calories but the vegan diet is just so good because you can eat so much food, be so satisfied, especially if you're eating a lot of fruits and veggies and potatoes and rice, and you have the energy to actually go all out in your cardio sessions. Not like those keto, low, uh, high fat people that have no energy. You see them running, trying to get a cup of coffee or a monster or Adderall pills or something crazy because they just don't have the energy. I see it at work all the time. My coworkers, they're all basically on drugs. Caffeine is a drug, Adderall is a drug, any stimulant is a drug. Some of them are abusing ephedrine even to get that stimulant effect because they're on these high fat diets that just make them freaking tired, freaking weak. There's no way in hell that one of them could run a 5K with me. They couldn't even jog a 5K with me because they don't have the energy and they're too fat. That doesn't mean they're necessarily huge that they weigh a lot, but they just have so much body fat on them. And if you want to drop that body fat quickly, I have a lot of guys who've messaged me tell me they've dropped 10, 20, 50 pounds already because I gave them a small outline of what the vegan diet should be like. 
they drop the fat immediately, they see a lot of their other health numbers increase. Not only does their glucose go down if it's too high, not only does their cholesterol drop down, but their testosterone levels also tend to go up. So if you're a guy suffering from low testosterone, you just don't have the energy in the bedroom, you don't have the energy to run, you don't have the energy to work out, you just basically work your eight, 10 hours and you're exhausted, there are things you can do about it. It doesn't mean it's easy, it is going to take time. It might even include taking testosterone if your doctor decides that your testosterone is drastically and dangerously low and you might need some, you might have to take it. That's for you to pick, that's for your doctor to pick. Why is this here? Keep trying Wi-Fi, okay. So, I just got something that popped up on my screen and I had a X out of it. But, yes guys, you can definitely increase testosterone. So, the more cardio you do, especially if you start doing it three times a week, maybe four, maybe five times a week, um, once you get the hang of it, body fat tends to come down if you're eating a healthy diet. If you're working out an hour, two hours of cardio every day, and then you're going to Burger King or McDonald's to have some fatty, nasty meal, you're pretty much just wasting your time when it comes to losing body fat. But if you're working out, let's say 30 minutes, 40 minutes every day of cardio, maybe you like to cycle, maybe you like to run, maybe you like to row, I, I'm not sure. Whatever, find something you, you love to do, stick with it, and then when you come back post-gym, have a healthy diet, eat some yummy potatoes. Maybe you want a giant blender full of smoothie like I had this morning. I had two liters of smoothie. Delicious, by the way. When you do that, body fat is going to come low. It's just going to drop if you're eating healthy. Cholesterol is going to drop if you're eating healthy. Testosterone tends to come up when body fat goes down. So keep this in mind if you're struggling and maybe you just don't want to supplement with testosterone, use these scientific backed ways to actually be able to increase these numbers. Because at the end of the day, health is in your hands and you don't have to buy supplements that you see on Instagram of you know super ripped muscular guys promoting this. They're probably on steroids, They're probably taking something to make them look a certain way. Just because you look a certain way doesn't mean you're healthy. So remember, always go to your doctor, get your blood work done, and let me know how these tips worked out for you, if you like them, if you enjoy them, and if you suffer from low testosterone. I know that a lot of guys are probably not going to post about their low testosterone levels in the comments because it's something very, can be very personal, right? And it makes you not feel good as a man. It might make you feel less of a man. It doesn't mean you are, but it does mean that there's always something that you can do for yourself, for your own health, because life is so short. And imagine, I can't imagine, honestly, not having the energy to have fun in the bedroom when you're 30, 40 years old, still really young. That's kind of sad. I feel bad, which is why I'm hoping that this video here is really, really helpful. So I will see you guys down in the comment section. Remember, if you want to have more of a scientific background, normally I don't go too much into depth because it can be a little bit boring, a lot boring for some, but I am willing to send you that study that I read, kind of a few studies, or I can link them in the description box below. So let me know if that's something that interests you. And I'm gonna go get my sweat on because I want a healthy libido. Bye guys.